Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my week in gadgets, a potential new video series. But before I start, I just want to give you a moment just to take in the view, just so that you can see that maybe something's different. Maybe take a look up in the video title. Can you see what I've done with that title? I'm sure you've seen it by now. So this is going to go because it is super itchy. So I'm going to give you the opportunity, actually, if you want the wig to stay throughout the whole video next time, then hit that like button. So vote with your finger. On with this particular video anyway. I wanted to just sit and have a chat with you. I like doing these chatty videos. I haven't done one for a long, long time. I've got some loose hair on my neck, so that wig probably wasn't a good idea. But yeah, I digress. I just want to sit and chat with you about what I've done on the channel the last week or so, what I've got coming up on the channel as well. Before I do so, I just want to say a big thank you because the comment section on my videos over the past week or so has been brilliant. Thank you very much for all of the really cool comments. Also, Twitter. Wow, the amount of retweets and communication I get via Twitter of late has been phenomenal. So again, thank you very much for your engagement on that. So the videos I've done over the past week or so that I've really enjoyed, well, I've enjoyed them all, but the ones that stand out for me is I did a guide, a YouTuber guide, about being a full-time YouTuber or content creator. I hope you enjoyed that. The feedback in the comment section has been really positive. And I just wanted to put that out there so that I could really share with you some information about what goes into making videos if you're doing it full-time. And the fact that like a five-minute video doesn't take five minutes to make. And I included in there some good tips and advice as well. So I hope that you got a lot out of that particular video. Also, the highlight for me had to be taking delivery of the Ultimaker 2 3D printer. The grin still hasn't gone. I am amazed at the technology. The fact that 3D printing in the home is still in its infancy. The quality that the Ultimaker 2 outputs uh, is just amazing. I was mesmerized when doing that first print and talking to people in person about it as well, sort of members of the family and friends, they're just amazed. In fact, some of them that haven't actually seen the 3D printer working don't believe that I printed that little Ultimaker robot. So it just goes to show how people can't get their head around the fact that you can print a physical object. So it's just really good. More coming up on the Ultimaker 2 in a little while in this video. Now, I also did an unboxing and a 4K video test of the Panasonic FZ1000. Now, normally I record all of my videos with a Panasonic GH4, which also records in 4K. The Panasonic FZ1000 is very similar to the GH4, but you can't change the lenses out. It's a fixed lens, it's a bridge camera, but it still records in 4K. And in fact, this video you're watching now is being recorded on the FZ1000. I've got my lapel mic actually attached to it. It's got a three and a half millimeter mic input on the side of the camera. And for the most part, the video footage that's created is pretty much identical to the GH4. So if you're never ever gonna want to change lenses out, then the FZ1000 is a really good choice. Now, I also did a video on the Doogie, or Doogie as I called it, Voyager 2, the DG310. This is an Android phone with some great specs that comes in at $88 or around about 58 pounds. That is an amazing bargain. Now, when I got that in to review, I was thinking, well, it's a cheap smartphone. It's gonna be horrible, tacky, sort of something you'll use for a couple of weeks and then it's gonna fall apart. That couldn't be further from the truth. It's a really great option for a budget end Google Android smartphone but the features on it are amazing. It was even running the latest version, 4.4 KitKat. The only thing that let it down was it had an inferior camera. Everything else on it was absolutely fine. Really good choice. So do check out those videos that have already gone up on the channel. Now, what have I got coming up? Well, I normally keep these things quiet because I like it to be a surprise when the video goes up on the channel. Uh, seeing your reaction about the variety of products I feature really is nice but i want to share with you a couple of things that are coming up the first thing i want to share with you is another 3d print now the ultimaker 2 has been hard at work and for my second print i was wondering whether i should be 
uh, sort of brave or take the easy route? You know, should I print something simple that couldn't go wrong? Maybe a little box or just something that takes an hour or so. But I thought, no, let's be brave. So I did a 30 hour print for my second print. And I'm so excited to be sharing that with you very soon. That's gonna be on the channel probably within the next few days. There was a reason I did that 30 hour print and all will be revealed in that video. Also coming up is something that I haven't done for a couple of years or maybe even three years and that is a PC build. Now the last time I did a PC build, it was a very popular series of videos. So I've done the same again, it's a series of videos, but this time it is the ultimate 4K gaming PC. And you're gonna to get to see all of the components and then in the final video, you're gonna to get to see my final opinion of the PC and also benchmarks and how it performs. So please do look out for that as well. So that's it. That's a couple of things that are coming up. Lots of things that have already happened, loads of videos going up on the channel, and it's all made possible really by your feedback because if I didn't get feedback from you, then it wouldn't be worthwhile. And it really does make it worthwhile. If I help people, if I share that knowledge, if you enjoy the videos and you let me know you enjoy the videos, then that's what makes me happy. So thank you very much for your involvement in the Geekanoids community. Hope you enjoyed this video as well. Don't forget to vote for the wig and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. If you wanna see another video of mine, please do click the annotation on the top of your screen now. And also you can click the annotation on the bottom of your screen and subscribe to the Geekanoids channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again next time.